Hi everyone, this is your corrective workout shoulder opening and strengthening sequence. So if you are a desk worker and you're constantly having your hands in front of you, maybe even tightening, st stressing, being in a collapsed and tense position, this is the perfect workout for you to open up the chest, open up your shoulder girdle and also strengthen your shoulders and your upper back so you can stay upright longer and more easily. So let's get started. First exercise, bring your hands in front of you, then turn them around, so thumbs down, cross your fingers and then bring your hands overhead. Now, please try to not bend backwards too much, so you still wanna contract your abs a little bit, but pulling your hands behind you or overhead. So you can be here, this is perfectly fine, or you can be with the hands overhead, or you can be slightly behind your head, depending on your stretchability, <laughs> flexibility. And you want to stay here for like at least 20 seconds up to a minute until your hands get white and have no more blood. That would be the perfect index. All right, then stay with the same hand that is now the back hand. So my right hand is behind. You want to flex the elbow, bring your hand in between your shoulder girdle, in between your shoulder blades. And you can either push a little bit on your elbow, making sure that your shoulder stays down. So don't pull the shoulder up. This will just contract your trapezius. We don't want that. So keep the shoulder down. And if you can, you might want to or be able to grab your fingers, interlace your fingers. So what you don't want to do when you're here and you realize that your elbow comes front and you're collapsing in here, then this is not so good for you. Then better just stay here and keep your chest up so that your shoulder blades can move backwards. So, um, that's one side and we want to finish up with um, crossing that same elbow that was now um, over your head. You want to bring that on top of the other so that same elbow that was here on top goes on top of the other. So you bring the back of your hands close together and then just interlace and cross. Perfect. And now you can play a bit in this Garuda pose and see if you can push your elbows up a little bit. Maybe you can wave the hands a little bit to the right. So if your right hand is up, then you can go to the right hand side a little bit. Again, stay 20 seconds, up to one minute. Keep your neck long, chin in, all right? And then change sides. Relax, now both hands in front of you, twist, and now get the other hand on top. So if you were crossing with the right hand on top before, cross with the left hand on top now, and bring the arms overhead again. I'm going to do both sides with you so you can really follow through but when you want to do this by yourself you might want to have um, a little more time and keep the positions a little bit longer. So also feel free to pause the video if you want to stay in a position a little bit longer because it feels great. And I'm sure it will if you've been sitting at a desk all day. You can also do that in the office um, whenever no one is watching. <laughs> all right, then flex the elbow, bring your hand in between the shoulder blades, push from the top 
or grab the hand from below one side is always different than the other so don't try to force it if one side doesn't work it also depends on what you've been doing all day and if it's morning or evening so don't get upset it's all fine uh, again try not to collapse so keep the chest up and keep the elbow back shoulder down trapezius should be relaxed all right and last one a little bit complicated garuda asana garuda pose so the elbow that was up stays up you want to cross at the elbows bring the back of your hands together and then interlace cross elbows pumping up and maybe so you can a little bit lean to the left hand side if possible stay 20 seconds to one minute pause the video if this is awesome for you all right then release and you want to bring both hands together interlace your hands turn the palms outside leave the shoulders down and now just bring both hands overhead and we're going to need this pose later when we're bending forward so this is just a little prep what i do want from you is that you keep your shoulder blades down shoulders down and keep pushing your pinky finger this one to the back and keep breathing 20 seconds to one minute maybe you want to bring the chin down elongate the neck and it's a super nice stretch um, for me for my triceps there all right lower down stand up so you want to keep your feet hip distance apart more or less flex the knees bend the knees and then just lean forward so this is a very nice prep for the shoulder stretch that we're going to do just to release a little bit of tension in your back lower back upper back also in the neck so make sure the hand the head is falling towards the floor you might want to shake your head a little bit yes 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 no 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 maybe then bend the knees roll back up and then interlace your hands behind your back bring the shoulders down like we did earlier shoulder blades floating down shoulders down and for now we keep the palms facing towards the body but you want to bring the hands away from your sacrum again bend the knees lean forward feet stay on the floor let your head drop and now bring your hands over your head or even before so this is not to collapse in the shoulders just to hang in your shoulder girdle but you want to still bring your shoulder blades towards the spine and towards the pelvis so there's a lot of space between your ears and your shoulders and if you feel like it you can turn the palms outside and now push your palms away from you and your pinky finger over your head very nice stretch both for the hamstrings uh, good release in the spinal muscles and for the head neck muscles and also for the shoulder girdle all right release the hands first bring the hands down to the floor and bend the knees roll slowly up very nice all right now come to the back of your mat if you are exercising on a mat or just um, make sure there's a lot of space in front of you so we want to first of all come into a child's pose nice pose just to open the chest open the shoulder a little bit so keep the arms forward and if you want to you might even mount <laughs> climb onto your fingertips stretching the arms and making sure that your chest 
your sternum, your breastbone can drop to the floor. So this should already be a nice little stretch. Now come forward, lift the hips a little bit, bring the hands in front of you and now try first of all to bring your forehead down, really hanging from your hips. And if you feel comfortable to do so, you might even add an additional stretch a little bit for your throat and bring your chin down. I won't bring it down because otherwise there'll be loads of cracking in the mic. So if you want to bring your chin down, stay here 20 seconds to one minute, pause the video if necessary and just keep hanging. Then when you're done, bring the elbows a little bit together, shoulder width apart and now come on your belly and just lay down the next stretch is lying on the floor, but I'm first going to show you what we're going to do because you might not see so much. So first of all, we're going to bring lying on the floor, on the belly, we're going to bring the arm uh, 90 degrees to the side. This actually is already a cool stretch. Um, and then you're going to push yourself to roll onto that side where your arm is. So you're going to end up a little bit like this, but with your arm on the floor. I'm going to show you in a second. And then you're going to have, if you want to, the upper hand reaching towards the lower hand as well. So this is the first one, 90 degree angle. This is especially for the pectoralis major muscle, middle part. And then we go up to a very important muscle, which is the pec minor, that is always under tension when you work at a computer. So that's the muscle that does the mouse action, the keyboard action, terrible, always stuck. So we end up with the shoulder pulling forward. That's this little muscle here. So we stretch it by reaching 45 degrees up to the side, again, lying on the belly, head to the side, and then again, rolling over. So there's not so much elasticity here, I guess you won't be able to roll all the way or to your side. So please be careful. All right, let's do this. So you want to lay, I'm going to do it, um, which side? I'm going to lay a little bit. <laughs> so we're going to do this laying on the belly, arm 90 degrees to the side, and then roll over, keep your hand flat. And you might want to bring your feet, your foot over, keep your head down. This is not really about the head or the neck, so you can stay comfortable. And then maybe reach over so the back of your hands are facing, facing each other. And you just stay here. And if this is comfortable for you, you can just stay 20 seconds to one minute. Maybe you need a pillow under your shoulder if the floor is too hard for you. All right, then slowly come out, no rushing, and then bring your hand 45 degrees angle above. Again, pushing your shoulder down, and there you see there's not much movement there. And it starts pulling really quickly, so make sure you only do what feels comfortable, like a comfortable, nice little pulling and stretching. And just keep the other hand on the floor, no need to reach over. Ah. Stay here as long as you feel like it, and then change sides. So hand 90 degrees, rolling over, hand up 45 degrees, all right? Um, always do everything both sides. I'm just not going to do both sides with you now. Then make sure you do the other side. I'm just going to do it with you facing. So you're on the floor. Keep the shoulder down. Now roll over and make sure the head stays on the floor. You might want to grab with the upper hand and see if you can bring the upper hand with the back towards the other back. 
side of your hand. So we have a passive stretch with the lower hand, the lower arm, shoulder, pec major, and we have a very active stretch um, with the upper arm, which is nice. Um, both are quite intense, I can tell you. All right, then bring the arm, come back slowly, <laughs> bring the arm 45 degrees angle and now just pull with the other arm that um, that's free and make sure you're gentle, just keep pushing um, wherever you feel it's enough, just stop here, stay in there. Sometimes it's nice to come out of the stretch and then go back in and to see, oh, I can go a little bit further um, than this first time and stay as long as you like. Then come slowly back out and we want to finish by coming into a nice little child's pose. So again, bringing your hips onto your heels, forehead down, lower down, and either just keep your arms straight, stay on the palms of your hand or come onto your fingertips arm straight to open up the chest a little bit. Very nice. Stay there as long as you need. And if you need more stretching, you can come back up into Anahata or sleigh pose <laughs> and just bring your chin down or your forehead down. And again, stay as long as you like. Maybe massaging your forehead on the ground. So that was our little shoulder stretch and opening. And I would recommend to do that once a week or little sequences during the week to make sure you're not ending up with a collapsed shoulder girdle at the end of your work week. And you can do this sitting on your desk. Um, if you don't have a floor to lie on, you can do that standing on a wall and twisting 45, 90 degrees angle. Just be creative. It's all for you. It's all for the good. So I hope sure you liked it. Leave comments. Um, let me know how you felt, how it went. Thumbs up, share, like, and please subscribe to the Corrective Works channel. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.